For billions of years, the universe existed in silence, vast, cold, and unaware. Galaxies formed, stars ignited, planets took shape, but none of it knew it existed. Then something astonishing happened. On one tiny world, matter arranged itself into patterns so intricate that it began to observe, to question, to reflect. And now, here you are, listening to these words, contemplating your own existence. But have you ever stopped to ask, what exactly woke up inside you? Science tells us that consciousness emerged as a byproduct of the human brain, an evolutionary accident, a mere flicker in the vast darkness of an unconscious cosmos. But is that really the whole story? Some of the greatest minds in neuroscience and physics are beginning to question whether awareness is just a function of biology or something far more fundamental, something woven into the very fabric of reality itself. Consider this. The atoms in your body were once part of ancient stars. The energy that fuels your thoughts has existed since the birth of time. And yet, despite all this scientific knowledge, we are no closer to explaining why you experience reality the way you do. What makes you aware? Why is there a self looking out through your eyes instead of just a complex machine processing data? And most astonishingly, if the universe became self-aware through you, what does that mean for the true nature of your existence? In this video, we'll journey through cutting-edge neuroscience, mind-expanding philosophy, and cosmic revelations to uncover the mystery of consciousness. From theories suggesting that self-awareness is an emergent property of the brain, to radical ideas proposing that consciousness is a fundamental force of the universe itself, we'll explore a perspective that could change everything you thought you knew about reality. Because if you are not separate from the universe, but rather the universe experiencing itself, then the implications are nothing short of profound. What does this mean for you, your identity, and the very nature of life itself? Stay with me, because what you're about to discover may just redefine the way you see everything. Welcome to our channel, where we don't claim to have all the answers, but we do love asking the questions that challenge our perception of reality. Here, we explore the intersections of science, philosophy, and spirituality. Always seeking, always questioning. If you find yourself intrigued by the mysteries of the universe and the nature of consciousness, consider subscribing and joining us on this endless journey of discovery. Consciousness is unlike anything else in nature. It isn't just another biological function, like digestion or circulation. It's the reason you experience anything at all the inner world of thoughts, emotions, and self-awareness. But why does it exist? Why didn't evolution stop at highly efficient reactive organisms without the need for subjective awareness? Scientists have long searched for an answer, and while there's no definitive explanation, several theories attempt to unravel this mystery. One possibility is that consciousness emerged gradually, shaped by millions of years of evolution. Early life forms responded to stimuli, light, heat, movement, but they didn't know they were responding. Somewhere along the way, awareness flickered into existence. Neuroscientists argue that complexity played a role. As nervous systems became more sophisticated, the integration of sensory information reached a tipping point. The brain began not just to process data, but to observe it, generating an internal model of reality. This led to theories like Integrated Information Theory, IIT, which suggests that consciousness arises when a system integrates information in a highly interconnected way. The more complex and unified this integration, the richer the experience of awareness. But complexity alone may not be the full story. Another theory, Orchestrated Objective Reduction, ORC OR, suggests that consciousness might be tied to quantum processes within the brain's microtubules tiny structures inside neurons. According to this idea, quantum mechanics, the fundamental rules governing particles at the smallest scales, might play a role in generating conscious experience. If true, this could mean that awareness isn't just a side effect of biology, but something more fundamental to reality itself. Despite these theories, a major paradox remains. If consciousness is just a product of the brain, why does it feel so different from other biological functions? No other process, no matter how complex, creates the ineffable experience of being. If consciousness is more than a biological accident, could it be something deeper? Could it be connected to the very structure of reality itself? 
that's where we turn next. Consciousness is often treated as a byproduct of biology, something that emerged when brains reached a certain level of complexity. But some perspectives challenge this idea entirely. What if awareness wasn't produced by the brain, but something that exists throughout the universe itself? This is where panpsychism enters the discussion. The idea that consciousness isn't exclusive to humans or even animals, but exists to some degree in all things. According to this view, even the smallest particles contain some fundamental aspect of awareness. It may not resemble human thought, but it could be the raw essence of experience, the foundation upon which all higher forms of consciousness are built. While this might sound like speculation, modern science has uncovered clues that point in a similar direction. Physicist Donald Hoffman's conscious realism suggests that what we perceive as physical reality is not the ultimate structure of existence, but a kind of interface created by consciousness itself. From this perspective, matter isn't fundamental, awareness is. Then there's quantum mechanics, where observations appear to influence the behavior of particles. The observer effect raises a provocative question. Does consciousness play an active role in shaping reality? Some interpretations suggest that without observation, reality exists only as probabilities, collapsing into definite states only when measured. These ideas suggest a striking possibility. Consciousness may not be an isolated phenomenon locked inside individual minds. It could be an intrinsic part of existence itself. If that's the case, then what we experience as self might not be separate at all, but part of something much larger. If awareness is built into reality at the deepest level, then the idea of a distinct, isolated self begins to dissolve. The next step is to ask, what does this make you? For most of history, humans have viewed themselves as separate from the cosmos, observers looking out at a vast and indifferent expanse. But if consciousness is fundamental rather than incidental, then this division collapses. The universe isn't something outside of you. It is expressing itself through you. Consider how every atom in your body was once part of something larger. A star, a planet, an unbroken chain of life stretching back billions of years. The same forces that shape galaxies pulse through your veins. Your thoughts, emotions, and awareness are not isolated phenomena, but the latest phase in an ongoing process of the universe reflecting on itself. Many philosophical traditions have long embraced this perspective. Eastern schools of thought describe the self as an illusion, a fleeting ripple in an ocean of consciousness. In modern science, some physicists and cognitive theorists propose that the boundaries we perceive between ourselves and the world may be constructs of the mind rather than absolute truths. If this is the case, then identity is not limited to a single lifetime or a single form. The awareness you experience is part of something vast, continuous, and ever-changing. Understanding this doesn't require abandoning individuality. It invites a deeper connection to existence itself. What happens when the universe becomes aware of itself? It questions, it explores, it reaches for meaning, and through you, it continues that journey. If consciousness is not just a byproduct of the brain, but something deeper, something fundamental, then what happens when the body ceases to function? Does awareness vanish, or does it continue in some form? For centuries, cultures and philosophies have suggested that consciousness is not bound by physical life. Some describe it as a stream that flows beyond individual existence, while others propose that what we call the self is only a temporary focus of a much larger awareness. Science has yet to provide a clear answer, but certain clues challenge the assumption that consciousness is purely a biological function. Studies on near-death experiences reveal consistent patterns. Individuals reporting a profound sense of expanded awareness, a detachment from time, and a connection to something vast. While skeptics argue that these experiences arise from a dying brain, others question whether they point to something more profound. Quantum physics adds another layer of mystery. Theories like orchestrated objective reduction, orc OR, suggest that consciousness may not be confined to neurons, but linked to quantum processes. If this is true, then awareness might not be tied to one brain or one lifetime, but instead exist as a feature of reality itself. If the universe woke up as you, then what you call yourself may not be the full picture. Just as the atoms in your body came from stars and will one day return to the cosmos, 
Perhaps your awareness is part of something cyclical, something that doesn't end, but transforms. Maybe the universe doesn't stop waking up. Maybe it continues in ways beyond what we can presently grasp. There has never been a single moment in history where the universe wasn't transforming, expanding, becoming. And right now, in this fleeting instant, it has taken the shape of you, a being capable of looking back at existence and daring to ask what it all means. The same force that forged galaxies and ignited stars is the same force that allows you to think, to feel, to be. You are not small. You are not separate. You are awareness itself, momentarily focused through human eyes. But this story, this unfolding realization, isn't over. Consciousness is still awakening, still evolving, still finding new ways to see itself. And if you are the universe looking outward, what will you choose to do with that vision? This journey doesn't stop here. There is so much more to uncover, to question, to experience. If this resonated with you, if something inside feels like it's remembering something ancient and limitless, then you belong here. Subscribe, stay with us, and together, let's keep pushing the edges of what is possible to know. And now you have a choice. Let this feeling settle or keep going. Two videos await you, both a continuation of this awakening. The question is how deep are you willing to go?